A real covenant is enforceable against subsequent grantees of the subject property if it runs with the land. These covenants are often part of the deal when purchasers buy property from a developer. But they don't always work as intended, as the plaintiff learned in Eagle Enterprises v. Gross. In 1951, Orchard Hill Realties, a developer, sold property in the Orchard Hill subdivision to William and Pauline Baum. The Baum's deed contained a covenant requiring them to purchase water from Orchard Hill Realties seasonally, from May through October of each year, for $35 a year. The water came from a well located on the other property owned by Orchard Hill Realties. The covenant specifically stated that it was to run with the land and bind the party's successors. Eagle Enterprises was a successor in interest to Orchard Hill Realties, and Bob Gross was the successor in interest to the Bombs. The property changed hands multiple times before Gross purchased it, but none of the deeds after the Bombs' original deed contained the water purchase covenant. Gross refused to accept and pay for water from Eagle because he dug his own well on his property, where he now lived year-round. Eagle sued Gross to collect the water fee, arguing that the covenant bound Gross to purchase water from it. The lower court ruled for Eagle. The appellate division reversed. Eagle appealed to the New York State Court of Appeals.